Edna Martin was 78 years old back in 2013, and in many ways, a typical granny. I'm knitting myself a winter jumper. It's a useful, productive exercise, and you end up with a totally original garment. Hello, Ed. Hello, darling. Oh, you've got your yes. favourite pullover on. I've got your favourite pullover on. A typical granny, except her new husband, Simon, was half her age. Which is your favourite colour on there? Well, I think it'd have to be this green. And then you've got this very nice pink as well, and you've got the bright red and yellow. It's got lovely little hearts on as well. And we music note. When they first met in 2004, Edna was a divorcee with three grandchildren. Her own children are all older than Simon. That's very nice, isn't it? It is. And Simon was just 30 years old and still living at home with his parents. I've never had any experience with any girl at all. <laughs> I knew that I liked ladies, but I hadn't had any success in any way. It was Simon's unique organ skills that got Edna really excited. Simon knows very well how to reduce me to a trembling jelly when he plays the organ, and he'll no doubt do that before we leave. I'd heard a lot about Simon moving in the organ world, and people had said to me varying things like, that funny little man, Simon Martin. And I didn't quite know whether they meant he was an amusing little man or whether there was something odd about him, or perhaps both. And I was quite intrigued. When their paths eventually crossed, the attraction was instant. Eventually, moving in the same circles, of course, we banged together. That was it. Love at first sight. Yes, it was. Literally, love at first sight. I said to him, let's nip out, quick. And we went in under the pier, and that's where we had our first kiss. Yes. And then we rushed back to the concert and tried to pretend that everything was calm. So five years on, has Edna and Simon's age gap love stood the test of time? <laughs> but although 83-year-old Edna is still going strong, Simon, who is now 43, is not well. He had a kidney transplant and nearly died twice. This is Simon's daily medication. All that. And all in different doses. Yeah. It's very difficult to manage. The combination of the medication and Simon's health has meant that he now has type 2 diabetes. So that is quite complicated to look after with all the other things that Simon, um, poor chap, has to put up with. You can't get a pill for, against me. No, no, no. It's no good. Can't get one. <laughs> and Edna has her own new aid that she started to rely on. We've a new addition to our house. It's transformed my life. And there we are. And off I go. Bye. This is as fast as it goes. Edna and Simon have now been together for 13 years, but sadly, they recently lost an important symbol of their love. <laughs> How may we be of assistance? Well, I lost my engagement ring. OK. So we're looking to replace it. We had an unfortunate time in one of the hospitals when Simon was very poorly indeed this year, and he was hallucinating, and I had to physically restrain him. And so we're kind of doing wrestling in the waiting room. <laughs> And during the ensuing struggle, my engagement ring fell off and became lost. Can you remember what the ring looked like? Oh, of course. Violety mauvey colour with gold upstanding shoulders. Right. And six claws. Right. So we'll get some pieces out the window. Yes. And then you can tell me if that's going to be uh, to your liking. That's lovely. Oh. <laughs> OK. Yeah. No. OK, guys, here we have three rings, oh, all amethyst. Look. Look at that one. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? 
That's nice. Okay. So this one is a twist. Thank you. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bless you. Okay, man. Well, you're not going to be without your ring for very much longer, though. Oh, dear. Uh, when I lost the ring, I was very upset, but I couldn't let Simon see how upset I was because he was so ill. It's been difficult to be without it. Oh. Goodness me. Well, I think we could say you're happy with it then. <laughs> oh, bless you, love. before. But this time, Richard had outdone himself with a new wife, 58 years his junior. I never want to marry again. But she say, I want to be married. So I say, yes, we're married. The whole day was very amazing to me. Was once a nurse, but more recently a Playboy bunny. And by marrying Richard, she became one of the wealthiest women in Austria. Bring me so much more champagne. I need some more. Thank you. The people are thinking I'm living in high life, but it. Richard? Richard! What happened? Do you have to help me? No, I'm not trained to be a cook. A lot of people talk about she's too young for me, but the thing is our personal feeling is the only thing. And if we be happy, it's okay. And if we don't be happy, then it's bad. So you want to have some eggs or not? Yeah, one egg for a minute. Yes, you can take a look on your watch. When it's not cool. situation anymore it's it's fucking bad more than fucking bad so what happened next could Kathy put her quarrels aside to hang on to her luxurious lifestyle with multi-millionaire Richard oh there's a book coming out or is she now young free and single may be no surprise that the 58-year age gap between Kathy and Richard was too much to bear. I, I can't stand this situation anymore. It's, it, it's bad. So they split up. I was struggled in a lot of problems and uh, yeah, I, I was getting divorced after that. After the divorce, Kathy moved to Dusseldorf in Germany with her daughter Leonie to be closer to her family. That's me. Leonie was very disappointed because, of course, she was um, like spending three years with him and it was, yeah, kind of dead for her. It's not easy being a mom and it's not easy being a mom without a dad. You have to be mom and dad and that's really tricky. She can do everything she wants, watch TV, she can hang out with friends, She's, she have a horse. You want to taste? Now 28 Sorry. and single, it's Kathy is keen to find a new husband but without such a huge age gap. What I've learned from my last marriage is that an age gap from over 50 years is too much. So now I'm looking for a man uh, with an age gap like 20 or 30 years. The next man mustn't be as old, but one thing's not changed. He's got to be rich. Problem is, if he would like 
work only as an electric guy or something like that, that you have different standards. And that's honestly, even if there's love, there, there will be a lot of problems. It's so good. <laughs> I can't understand why I don't find a man. Why isn't it working? <laughs> no? That's it. Right, here we are, Mrs. Perry, we're here. And we're going. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is amazing. Wow. Oh, look at that. Back in 2013, we met self-confessed hippies, Pete and Nicky from Stevenage. Oh, blimey. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Blimey. Hello. <laughs> I need to take the camera for a little while. Wow. Yeah, go on. Ooh. Oh, well, she's gone now. It, it is very spiritual, it isn't is. it? Because yeah. you're part of nature. Pete has been into flower power ever since the swinging 60s. But Nikki wasn't even born until the glam rock 70s. They met because Nikki was a friend of Pete's daughter, Deborah. Deborah said to her, you've got to meet my dad, you'll love him. It was purely for advice, yeah, spiritual advice. And um, I saw Deborah come through the gate and I saw Nikki. And as soon as I saw Nikki, it went through my head, this is the person I've been waiting for. It was love at first sight, there's no doubt about that. I, I knew that I was in love with this woman, um, but I didn't really want to um, admit it to myself because one thing, I was married. Um, another thing, she was my daughter's friend. Um, and, and then, as, as an afterthought, I thought, hang on, yeah, in years, She's 37 years younger than me, it's like, you know. Certainly she's very pretty and attractive, I think. <laughs> and I find her sexy. He really is a lovely person, a gentle soul. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Pete and Nicky married in 2009. We said it was going to be a hippie wedding, but you dress up the way you feel appropriate. You can either be a hippie or you can be a fairy tale character or just come as you are. It, it really was wonderful. I was crying a lot, but tears of joy. <laughs> the registrar was concerned, yeah. wasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> wondered why she was crying and <laughs> when Nikki explained that it's tears of happiness. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Then, she said. <laughs> Five years on, 81 year old Pete and 44 year old Nikki are as crazy in love as ever, and they're still into dressing up. We started some time ago, actually, making videos to capture our adventures. We get some costumes and, and dress up and then have a laugh. And, and um, it's little clips here and there that we do and then put on, on YouTube eventually. So it's just a, a bit of a laugh, really. And now we're doing the green screen to do videos with backgrounds in, so the ancient Greece and yeah. uh, the Wild West and so on. We can reproduce all that now. Mm. So it has gone to new heights, really, uh, our video making, yeah. Mm. Become an art in itself, really. OK, action! Eureka! Today, Pete and Nicky are visiting ancient Greece. <laughs> that's enough, I'm worn yeah. out now. <laughs> <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say funny enough, I was about to say cut. Right. <laughs> Most of the time, we're just having a lot of fun, joking around, having a lot of banter, just being ourselves and, and, and having fun because um, life's too short. That's the only dressing up I like. <laughs> <laughs> not Nothing in else. normal life, no. <laughs> I did hear once that Rembrandt <laughs> used to like his wife to dress oh, up God. as different exotic women. Apparently. <laughs> right, because he got bored easily. <laughs> oh, I just realised I've got my glasses on. Didn't oh. have glasses in ancient Greece. Back in 2015 in Colchester... Ow. Sorry. One on the end. <laughs> Paul and Carol had been together for 20 years and were fed up of others making disparaging comments about their age gap love. I mean, nobody would believe we'd ever last that long, would they? I mean, negativity, people at your work and things like that. Oh. No, look. 
Carol is 26 years older than Paul. They first met when she was a band manager and he was a talented young musician. I think I was starstruck at first meeting. I just couldn't believe it, how good he was. They started working together and it wasn't long before Carol developed feelings for the 21-year-old singer. We were at a friend's house for a party and I just kept looking at him the way you do when you really fancy somebody. And I said to Paul, I said, I really want to go to bed with you. <laughs> he said, take it slow. And I said, I don't want to take it slow. I was a bit concerned because of the age, and after time, we decided to stay one night. Afterwards, I thought, oh, good God, I've got a bloody infomaniac here. He <laughs> absolutely wore me out. <laughs> but I'm sure I wore you out just as much. No, not really. No? no oh, that's, that's good. fine. <laughs> I might go and see the doctor and get some Viagra. <laughs> I'll be up for that. So has love lasted for our age gap rockers? Proving the doubters wrong, Paul and Carol's marriage has gone from strength to strength. I've asked her to be my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but Paul's arthritis has got much worse, and Viagra pills are now at the bottom of his long list of medication. Sitting down even hurts, and uh, you know, and sitting sitting up um, even in a chair hurts my my back, my legs. You know, I've now got something called cubital tunnel syndrome. So this part of the hand is now paralysed. After playing the guitar for 40 years, I'm really upset the fact that I can no longer play the guitar. Even though she's over a quarter of a century older than Paul, Carol is still the one who looks after her much younger husband. She's my carer, and uh, that's just too much for her. Um, I'm actually, we're actually thinking about getting maybe a cleaner in um, or someone to help us a little bit later on because I, I think at Carol's age, it's not fair. It's too much of a burden. Although Carol only occasionally shows her age. May I say you look lovely today, dear? It's a three-letter word. She doesn't hear me. She doesn't hear me. Hmm? <laughs> it's like this all the time. You never hear me. I can't hear anything oh, much. see? Back in 2015, Paul and Carol both had trouble with their mobility. You moving? Yeah, <laughs> just all. I mean, having his and her scooter is fantastic. I mean, as you can see, this is big, this is little, so it's little and large. Little and large, that's us. There was fierce rivalry when this age gap couple were on the road. Stop showing off. <laughs> I would prefer a faster one, I must admit. Go, go, go! Come on! Oh, you might have told me! Four miles an hour, awfully slow. Four miles an hour, I'm going. Whee! Three years on, Paul still enjoys life in the fast lane. I've no idea if I've got a good shot. Out of the way. Oh dear, it's all blurry. You'll be blurry in a minute. Oh. Paul forgets I'm 72. You're a tech head. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> but poor Carol has lost her wheels and now has to trot alongside Paul. I do miss my mobility scooter, I must admit. It's awful oh. walking alongside because, well, I can't go very quick. Back in Dusseldorf, and hungry for love, Kathy is getting ready for a blind date. First stop, a beauty clinic. <sighs> That's my favourite place here. <laughs> my lips are very dominated. My, they dominate my, my face, so the chin has to be a little bit more in focus right now. At 28, Kathy is doing everything she can to stay young, and it's become quite an addiction. After marriage, I had like some injections like Botox or fillers like my lips and uh, I changed my hair color and um, I had surgery for my nose, a little bit thinner and like, yeah, that's it. Not too much, but you, you know, 
and very happy that I'm looking like that. My first plastic surgery I had with uh, 23 years, so it was a boob job because I had to lift a bit higher my, my babies because after pregnancy, you know, it was a little bit down to earth, so I just wanted to lift them up again. Ah, beautiful again. Yeah, ready. Face fixed, next her hair. I would like to meet a man who's like around 40 or 50. Kind, smart, handsome, intelligent, um, open-minded, funny, you know, and not cheating. That's, that's um, very, very important. Du bist echt der Wahnsinn. Professionell, hey. Now I'm a beautiful girl and the only thing I need now is a beautiful, handsome man. <laughs> There's only time left for the final touches of makeup before Kathy heads out on her date. My sister, she will take care of Leonie while I'm on the date. I hope it will be a very, very cool night, evening, I don't know. Let's see. So I'm excited. But the path to true age gap love is never easy. Oh, what the hell? Beate! Beate! The date is cancelled. It's just like, no, it won't happen, so I'm confused. I get my hair done, I'm dressed up. Kathy's night might be over before it's begun. And back in the UK, Simon's plans are also unsteady. Because I'm a kidney patient, I have to take um, a little cocktail of drugs. It sometimes has the effect that it causes me to shake a little bit. Edna's invited friends round for an organ recital, but Simon might not be well enough to perform. Simon's health is much more precarious than mine and I'm afraid that probably he will come to the end of what his body and his mind can tolerate long before I do. And that would be, that would finish me off. I adore that man, I just adore him. If I couldn't play, I really wouldn't want to be here because it's so much a part of who I am. Fortunately, Simon's shaking stops in time and the show goes on. Sometimes when I get this kind of shaking, it takes a little bit of time to go off, so I wasn't sure whether it would be uh, going off enough for me to play, but thankfully, uh, as I say, it did. It was a bit of a relief. <laughs> Twenty-eight-year-old Kathy has spent lots of time and money getting herself spruced up for a blind date tonight, but he's just cancelled. Luckily, her sister has an idea. I will find a better man than she will find because uh, I know what she, what she needs. Keen Kathy's preparations don't go to waste, her sister and daughter have decided they'll find her a man by searching the streets. Hopefully you will find someone Nice guy, please. Yes, I will take good looking. my glasses on, so I think it would be good. Whilst Kathy waits nervously in a bar, the girls are scouring the streets of Dusseldorf for a rich, older, single man. Ah, oh, I see some guys now, so I will try to... Oh my, my gosh, luck. them, them. Oh my God. How old are you? I'm 26. Oh, I think it's too young. But finding a perfect man who just happens to be hanging around in the city centre is proving hard work. Behind you! What? No, it's too <laughs> old. It's a good <laughs> chat. Are you stupid? <laughs> there are some guys, but I hope they are not... Uh, uh, uh no. No, 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 they are too young. OMG! Time is ticking and the girls are trying everything they can. Entschuldigung, ähm, sind Sie zufälligerweise in einer Beziehung oder so? Literally everything. 
he said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll drive to my girlfriend. Oh. Why? It's a big fail. Not good. Uh oh. Leonie. Leonie. Okay. Uh, um, okay, can we speak English? A little bit. Okay, okay. Two hours later, and the determined duo have found a man who seems ideal. Nee, ich also schon so wichtig, aber hello. Hi, I'm the guy. Und der pick me up. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so excited. Yes. Yeah, I am. Yes. Let's order something. What do you want to drink? I guess I drink a glass of champagne. By chance, Herman and Kathy seem to be getting on, but does he tick the boxes? Ich bring mich an der Situation, ne? I love that ship. And uh, what are you doing? Modeling stuff. Okay. Yeah, for Playboy. I did a Playboy cover in Germany. Oh, nice. And a cover in Slovakia. Really long legs. Yeah, yeah. So that's you? Yeah. So how, how old are you? Uh, me, I'm uh, 52. Oh, wow. Oh, you, you're not looking like a 52 year old <laughs> Thank guy. You. Yes, I, I'm healthy. I'm, I'm <laughs> that's, really. that's really good to know. Uh, yeah, no, that's cool. Yes. 52. Wow. Yes. I'm 28. 28? <laughs> yeah. So the age gap between you and me is like 20, 24 years. That's fine. That fits, I guess. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers on the age gap. <laughs> I was so surprised if he um, walked into the restaurant. I was like, hey, good choice, girls. Um, and he's so funny, he's so lovely, smart, kind. So everything I just wanted to, um, to meet today. Are you going to see each other again? Together, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you definitely. Too? Yes. yes. <laughs> Three years ago, we ventured into this Hemel Hempstead sheltered housing estate for retired people to meet 69-year-old Bob and his 29-year-old wife, Kelly. When I first saw him, I liked Bob's blue eyes and his good looks and his charm, basically. Bob wanted the whole world to see how much he adores Kelly. My tattoo on the back of my head is a picture of Kelly cutting the grass. How that come about was my daughter Lorraine, she see it on the internet, a little man like that with a crop tear cutting the grass. She said, I better having that on your red dad. He may be four decades older than Kelly, who's a cleaner, but it was love at first sight when they met in a pub. Although just a few weeks in, Bob got cold feet. I told her how old I was, and she told me how old she was. She said, yeah, 40 years. And it was hard for me, first of all, to get used to that. After four weeks, I phoned Kelly up and said, I'm going to finish it. I can't cope with the age yet. And I couldn't stop texting Bob to get him to call me, because I was really upset. And I missed him so much. Bob put his concerns behind him and reached out to Kelly once more. I love Kelly so much, I missed her, and uh, I asked her to get back, to get back out with me, and she said yes. To my relief, she said yes. Kelly has always been happy to learn from her partner, who's 40 years her senior. I've got a lot of experience to teach Kelly, and I hope she takes notice. And that means they sometimes have to do things that couples should never do together. Bob is teaching Kelly how to drive. Turn left. Yeah, all right. It's a stern test of Bob and Kelly's relationship. Can we go, go right down to Bob and Kelly Hill? I've shut up, Robert. All right. Yeah, I've been driving for 50 years now, and I just started teaching Kelly to drive. <sighs> Bob is really annoying when he's giving me a lesson in my car. He's really annoying. Can you do me a favour and shut your window, please? Yeah. So I'm trying to remember what, what my drive instructor tells me, then try and keep it up in my car. You did. 
I don't. I just sit in the car with my arms folded and looking around. I try not to say much at all. Sometimes I don't say anything, do I? But Bob can be silent and deadly. You fight? Yeah. Open the window then. Please. I don't know what we've eaten, but Christ, it's bad. So, three years later, are the couple still together? When I had my test, it was a pound a lesson. Bob, shut up. Oh, sorry, Donna. Yes, they are, but Kelly still hasn't passed her driving test. Well, Kelly's learning to persist. She's finding it hard to pass her theory. The atmosphere in the car hasn't changed much either. Now which way are we going? Bob? Uh, Left or right, Bob? Uh, oh, this is a little bit in there, isn't it? Yeah, Bob, hurry up. No? Do a left, do a left. That's going into the train station. Oh, oh no. It's too late now. Oh, we're in that front place, isn't it? I really can do a trick right now. Read the road ahead. The bends. Roundabout coming. Dog threw in a poo there, look. <laughs> Carry on right round, Cal. How, Bob? It's a dead end. Oh, bloody hell. In Stevenage... Eureka! 81-year-old Pete is recording some music for his new YouTube Just video. Again, even though... Eureka! Instrumental. This song that I'm recording now, uh, Eureka, we, I originally wrote in 1970, which in fact was four years before Nikki was born, actually. <laughs> Beside her adventures with Pete, Nikki's also his full-time carer, giving up her career as a nurse. I do the regular things a carer would do, um, as in uh, make sure he has a medication in the morning um, and uh, in the evening, um, keep an eye on him because of his health problems. Um, got quite a lot there, really. Just a year after Pete and Nikki first got together, he suddenly collapsed. He looked very ill, very white, just about alive. And that hit home big, big time. <laughs> and um, he just about pulled through. I mean, it was a really bad heart attack. And um, they were half expecting me to go. And then when I woke up and Nikki was there, yeah. I thought, this is, this is what's pulled me through, is my love for Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> so I really do owe my life. <laughs> Cry me eyes out. <laughs> <laughs> you should never be ashamed of that, should you? No. They both know that when it comes to the future, they have to be honest. We have thought about if uh, 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 any event of me dying, and uh, we've talked about the fact that we ought to put some money aside for my funeral costs. Of course, you know, um, Nikki doesn't like talking about it, but it has to be faced. I have uh, days when I'm exhausted, so we all have those days we need a break. Um, so, yeah, I mean, as part of, of, of the day-to-day -day running of life, you know, you, you might go out on some adventures and then you have a few days rest, um, which is normal for anyone, really, especially someone who is, has, has sort of lots of um, health problems. But fortunately, Pete's recent heart surgery has changed things for the better. You would assume that I would have slowed down. Well. I have since then had stents put in my heart. If anything, it's given me new life because it, the, the blood's pumping through better, obviously. <laughs> yeah. A healthier heart means Pete can even keep up in the bedroom with his wife, Nikki, who is 37 years younger. <laughs> and let's just say uh, we've got no complaints in that no, department no, not whatsoever. At all. You no. know, I don't want to embarrass all the children and the grandchildren. <laughs> yeah. You can tell by the smile on their faces. <laughs> Conventional wisdom suggests sex might be a problem for people of a certain age, but what's the reality? Well, the rabbits might be older than they were and they might be on crutches or little wheelers, but they, we're still at it like rabbits. Good luck to the rabbits. Good luck to the rabbits. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was every night, all night, 
And then I used to get up in the morning and go to work <laughs> on my bike. Excuse me, <laughs> so <What>? did I. <laughs> I had to talk about getting up in the morning, uh, literally. No, literally. Um, oh. Now I'm afraid I'm on an awful lot of tablets. Fortunately, I don't have a sex drive, so life isn't sex, drugs and rock and roll anymore. But our life together as a couple has not changed. Oh, that's something I'm always doing to Simon. Tickling the back of his <laughs> knees. Ah. Because I have some medical problems, uh, we are not able to be as active as frequently as we would like to be. Uh, but we still uh, manage quite a bit of getting together now and then, don't we? Yes. In Dusseldorf, 28-year-old Cathy is arriving for her second date with 52-year-old Herman, and it turns out they have a mutual passion. This is crazy. This is an amazing place, amazing clinic. It's bigger and better than I thought. It's, I'm, like, shocked right now. As well as being an attractive and wealthy older man, Cathy's daughter and sister really have found the man of her dreams. Herman is a plastic surgeon. First, you have a really beautiful face, but it's little things we can improve in okay. face. Yeah, you did your lips a few times. Yeah. A few times. Please be a little bit careful. I would do it with a filler or a little bit Botox here. No. It's crazy. He's so handsome, smart, good-looking, intelligent. Um, I can't stop smiling right now. <laughs> Das Aufziehen des Botox. So. Not only is he a plastic surgeon, but when you own the clinic, you can give your date some free Botox. You are perfect for the treatment. <laughs> I'm used to it. Tear back. <laughs> this is our second date. <laughs> it's really crazy. It's really crazy. But I, I think it's a, it's a really nice idea to do yeah, this today. Yeah, it is. It is. It's very really fun. <laughs> but while our new age gap couple seem delighted by each other's company, someone is getting a bit jealous. Ah. <sighs> I found a nice man for my sister and I deserve a treatment. This is my finest fee. Okay, comfortable? Yes, yeah, very good. Will you... Um... He is a jackpot, I think, and uh, he's a so nice man, kindly and intelligent and uh, smart. smart and uh, and some yes, perfect jackpot. In the UK, 13 years after they first met, Bob and Kelly's age gap love is also still perfect. I think I'm good, isn't it? Getting yes. closer and closer. Really, really well, and uh, we don't argue much. Well, Kelly does a little bit. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but it's been good, really, really good. Three years ago, Bob and Kelly did have a big dilemma because they were worried Kelly could miss out on having kids of her own. I wouldn't mind having children in the future, just not with Bob right now. Yeah, come with granddad. I won't buy 73 year old great granddad Bob believes he is too old to have another child. And we're quite happy without children. It'd be unfair for the child. He'd be 10 years old and he might not be there to bring him up anymore. And Kelly's left with a child to meet someone else. And I, I think personally that if Kelly's not got a child, she's got more chance of meeting someone else than that, having a, a next 40 years happily married to someone else and have one or two children. That's what I think. Yeah. I really do think that. With the clock ticking, Bob even thought he should split up with Kelly. I ain't got long to go. And we all know I ain't got long to go. And I would say to you, now's the time I want you to start thinking of meeting someone. 
But Bob and Kelly finally came to the conclusion that they should stay together and focus on the present. We talked about this for a long time and uh, we both feel it's better not to do that. Live, live my life out, Kelly stay with me and then Kelly can do her own thing. Shot, Kel. Yeah, I have encouraged Kelly. The time they've been gone, I mean, I'm sure that assured myself for Kelly. Um, that I would like her to meet some when I'm gone. Meanwhile, this age gap couple intend to enjoy the time they have left together. Your shot, Kel. Nearly. Can I your shot? Shot. Fair and square. She beat me. Are you sure you didn't let me win? <laughs> let you win? Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't let you win. So what is the secret to age gap love? As far as the future from here on is concerned, we just expect to have more adventures, more laughs. I said to Nikki the other day, do you know, I'm more in love with you now than when I first met you. Because true <laughs> love does grow. I love Paul as much as I can love anybody. We just clicked from the first. And we're here. 27 years later and still together and talking about it and we're soulmates, you know? I think life is what you make it and we try damned hard to make it good, don't we? We do. We're going to do the very best we can to make it bright as possible. I've got to live till I'm 95, someone <laughs> wants a silver wedding. I'll try hard. <laughs> I'll try hard as well. <laughs> promise you. I promise. I promise. <laughs> so are we going to see each other again? Oh yes, I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Kathy's finally found her age gap man. Come on. But what about her sister? He has a brother. Really? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>